Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a very cool world map animation that you can create on Canva. Now we're going to start by creating our design. So in your Canva home, go ahead and click create a design and we're going to choose video as our design base for today. So once you got that open up, you're going to want to go to the element section right here and you're going to search for a world map element. Here we got the graphic for the world map. You can go to the graphic section or if you would like to use photo, you can also choose from one of the photo right here. I think I'm going to take a look at the graphic first and see if there is anything that catches my eyes. These colorful ones are pretty cool, so I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to scale this so that it's going to match my page like so. And now you can just choose on which country you want to focus on. I'm going to go with Indonesia for now, which is right here. If you're not sure where is the position of the country that you're trying to highlight you can always go to the google first and then take a look on which one is actually the country that you want right now that we got our first frame right here i'm just going to adjust the duration i don't want the first frame to be super long i think around two seconds will do and then i'm going to duplicate this page right here so I'm going to click on this triple dot and then click on duplicate page now I am going to zoom in into the country that I want again which is Indonesia so I'm just going to enlarge this until I got the country in the middle like so it's actually not zoom enough so still going to enlarge it and now i got the country so it's this one's right here and this one is in the color of orange i think i want to change the color of this one's right here so i'm going to search for indonesia in the element section and as you can see i got the one that looks like it and this one is in the color of white. I'm just going to try to match it as best as I could, but I think I'm going to change the color so that it's going to make it easier for me to see. I'm going to choose, let's see. All right, so I changed the color to this blue and then I'm just going to adjust this real quick. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make sure that it's going to align well to my original map so it's going to look something like this now i'm going to create a third frame so i'm just going to again duplicate this one and then we're going to make this slightly larger i'm going to enlarge this one as well as put a blur on the map on the larger map element so I'm going to go to edit and then I'm going to choose blur right here and I'm just going to put it on around 20 20 seems good all right, and now I'm just going to adjust it so it's going to be right here and then I'm going to add a text and you can choose from the combination of text that you can find if you scroll down on the text section or you can just choose a normal text like this one's right here and then choose your own font if you want. I'm just going to use this Lancelot one Then I'm also going to enlarge the text like so. And I'm going to type in Indonesia, make this larger, and I think I'm going to put it on top of my element 
oops all right so I'm going to put it here and put this one here and I'm going to change the color of my text so that it's going to be the same color with the map and I'm going to think I'm going to choose something thicker some font that are thicker like so adjust it again and now I'm going to add a next frame and it's going to be our fourth frame and now I'm going to duplicate this text put one below here and I think I'm going to add an effect to this one because you can see that the green is sort of cancelling the blue so I'm going to go to effect and then put neon into it like so and I'm going to bring this one all the way down and I'm going to bring the transparency on the one on the top all the way down and now we're gonna want it to go between the page each page is fine you'll find this at transition option and you're going to want to choose match and move and then you can choose the duration for your transition effect and make sure you apply this in between all of your pages now you can add some more animation if you want to each element just to make things more interesting for example for this one i want this to have let's see the succession i think this one looks nice and i'm going to bring the speed all the way down and for this one I wanted to be uh, I wanted to leave it as its own but for the last Indonesia word right here I want this one to have an animation so I'm going to animate this with the flicker one so it looks something like that and now we're going to see how the animation looks like so far All right, and then after this, you can always download your video if you want to. You can add songs if you want. Maybe you want to add some more decoration. You can add some more elements. Feel free to do whatever you want with your design after this. If you want to download it, go to the share buttons right here. Click on download, choose the file type that you want. And of course, if you will want to have all of these animations that we've just created, you have to download it in the file type of a video. If you would like to add music, you can go to the app sections right here. Scroll down and you will find an audio apps so you can choose an audio from there or you can always upload your own audio over here and that's basically it that is how you can create a very cool world map animation in canva i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day